Seriously, General Hospital? How could you do this to fans? All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Sometimes we get why shows make certain choices, while other times we're left scratching our heads over them. And General Hospital breaking up Christina and Blaze after building them up and pushing them through Natalia's homophobic comments definitely falls into the HUD category. Heck, the show even brought in Perez Hilton for the ladies to demonstrate how devoted they were to each other, only to drop the pairing like a bad habit. Worse, General Hospital didn't stop with breaking them up, as the show wasted no time in sending a popular character, Blaze, off and letting Jacqueline Grace Lopez go. You can read her surprised farewell here. While keeping an unpopular character, Natalia, around that last part really stung as, after Blaze went off on tour with Miguel, Sunny convinced her to stick around. With their star musician leaving Port Charles, Sonny decided to scrap the record label he just created and invest in Deception as a silent partner instead. They're desperate for money and his only condition in giving it to them is to hire the newly fired Natalia to work with, Lucy. Well, her being the CFO of Deception is certainly not something we were expecting. Though Tracy flipping out when Natalia and Brooklyn told her about Sonny's investing was far less of a surprise. If you missed the episode, you can read today's recap here. Look, we love Eva LaRue, and we're thrilled to have her on our screens. But why in the world would General Hospital decide to get rid of Blaze and keep her problematic mother? Natalia has not won over the fans, between her trying to control Blaze and homophobia that nearly derailed her daughter's life and career. We get keeping her in town while her daughter's around. But not this. On top of that, Breaking up an LGBTU plus couple while keeping the woman who struggled to accept it isn't the greatest message General Hospital could have sent. At the very least, they should have taken more time to build Natalia up, help her grow and redeem her into a character fans could actually cheer for. But the way this all went down, it feels a bit like a slap in the face of the fans. While we say farewell, Take a look at our photo gallery below of Daytime's groundbreaking LGTBQ characters and couples.